Baby, we just got word that Wendy's situation is getting worse. Worse than Britney Spears. And it doesn't help that her best friend Regina Shell is out here saying that she has serious concerns over the type of guardianship her bestie is under. And this is not the first time Regina is saying that she is worried, by the way. Um, when I was in New York and staying with Wendy in the summer, I noticed when she would call, she had no access to her money. So every time she had to do anything that she had to pay for, she had to go through the Guardian. Childless guardianship has been a problem from the beginning, and if you recall, Wendy was publicly vocal about how she found the guardianship she is in to be problematic before disappearing from the public. My thing is that I've been asking questions about my money, and when I began asking questions about my money, suddenly Lori Schiller has got no response regarding my money. I want my money. This is not fair. And Wells Fargo has no questions and answers with regarding my money. This is this is not fair. What happened was that Wendy's bank, Wells Fargo, froze her bank accounts and filed a petition to hold a guardianship hearing for Wendy in early 2022. And in a complaint against the bank for locking Wendy out of her accounts, her lawyer said Wendy's former financial advisor advised Wells Fargo that Wendy was of unsound mind, which triggered the bank to freeze her accounts. Wells Fargo had referenced its authority to freeze her accounts pending judicial or administrative remedies. Should they suspect financial exploitation dementia, or undue influence. And eventually, Wendy was placed in a court-appointed guardianship under attorney Sabrina Morrissey. But clearly, this guardianship is not working the way everyone in Wendy's life expected, and that includes her bestie, Regina. See, Regina previously talked about how she stayed with Wendy for a majority of 2022, and even said that at one point, she, along with Wendy's sister Wanda Finney, and the guardian were all working together on helping with Wendy's needs. She said that initially, when she was staying with Wendy in the summertime, they were trying and they were speaking to Sabrina, but then she kind of disappeared. Regina said that's when the trouble began, and there were even problems getting Wendy's food deliveries on time. Apparently, Wendy would order food at like 7.30 in the morning, and breakfast wouldn't arrive until 11.30, and by that time, she was ready for lunch. And so Wendy wouldn't have any food. And when I went back to LA, I would have to send her food from Los Angeles to New York for through delivery service because she wasn't get the communication wasn't there. Well, now Regina is back and she is saying that the situation with Wendy has only gotten worse. First of all, she noted that Wendy's guardian, Sabrina Morrissey, was court appointed and was a stranger to Wendy before she took control of her life in 2022. According to Regina, this is a Britney Spears thing, only it's worse since it's not even Wendy's family who has control. She said that at least with Britney Spears, it was her dad, it was her family. But in Wendy's case, this is a woman who was not even family. What Regina is saying is that she really cannot understand the end game here because if it was up to her wendy would be surrounded by friends and family right now and not isolated and alone okay something else that regina said was that before the guardianship wendy was looking for real estate and she was talking to a financial expert at bank of america to try to gain control of her finances so she really doesn't understand how she went to at at least 90 percent wendy to now being incapacitated and can never see anyone again and that's not all y'all regina also said that she thinks wendy is being forced to keep quiet because the way she knows her friend, Wendy would never be this quiet. She said, I want people to know that Wendy is a real person and this is not some karma. Talking is Wendy's life. Her whole claim to fame is talking and I don't think she would be this quiet unless she was forced to be quiet. I haven't spoken to my friend who I spoke to five times a day in over a year now. She's somewhere that she can't reach a phone because Wendy can always get to a phone because if she could get to a phone, she'd be calling me. It's got a sinister vibe to it. That's what gets me. There's something about it that just doesn't feel right. There's no sign of her beyond a statement that was made, which doesn't sound like her at all. And why hasn't a medical team come forward to talk about her dementia diagnosis? I mean, Regina is making a lot of sense because even other Wendy watchers know that there is no way in hell that she would not have responded to that Lifetime documentary with all her family members appearing in it. Remember, these very same concerns that Regina has been talking about have been voiced by Wendy's family members who previously spoke to People magazine and said that they don't know where Wendy is being treated. They don't know what kind of treatments are taking place and they can't contact her directly. Like, they only hear from Wendy if she calls and Wanda even specifically said the people who love her cannot see her. I think the big question is, how the hell did we get here? The family members also said they blamed the lack of communication on Wendy's guardian, whose identity was previously private. And according to the family, the guardian is the only one with full access to Wendy Williams. Alex Finney was even on The View claiming that they had no say on the guardianship. They had no way of communicating with Wendy about what was happening 
in the family, and most times it took up to months for the Guardian to get back to them with any sort of information. All they know is that Wendy and her team walked into the courtroom one day and they walked out, and the family was completely excluded. All of a sudden there was just this wall that went down, uh -huh. and the family was blocked out. It was in April of 2022, yeah. and the contact from that point on has been so limited. Maybe it's one thing for all these people to be in the dark, but for Wendy's son Kevin Jr. to also be in the dark about what was going on, y'all, that has got to be alarming. And we even had a source saying about Kev Jr., Kevin has spoken to his mom occasionally, and he knows she's in some sort of treatment facility, but he's not sure exactly what it is or where it is. He is also questioning if she's getting the care she really needs. I mean, we even had Wendy's ex-husband Kevin Hunter complaining about Sabrina, and that's how you know it's bad. Well, his motivation was the fact that Sabrina was not cashing out the alimony, but Kevin did say that something was not right with Wendy's finances. Honey, I may not agree with him on a lot of things, but on that front, even I agreed with Kevin Hunter. When Kevin took Wendy back to court, this is what he said in the court documents. On December 8th, 2022, I attended a mediation with Wendy's counsel and Wendy's New York court-appointed guardian attorney, Sabrina Morrissey. In that mediation, Wendy's counsel and guardian agreed to provide statements to accounts and bank records they claimed to have gotten permission from the New York court to provide. He then said that despite supposed assurances from Wendy's Wendy's guardian and her attorney that they would provide him with Wendy's bank records, they never materialized. So by December 19th, after reportedly failing to get any further correspondence from Wendy's team, Kevin said he emailed the mediator and copied all parties addressing lack of transparency and bad faith in their lack of honesty in mediation. He continued reaching out without further communication from Wendy's team regarding his request for Wendy's financial records when finally on February 8th, 2023, a letter was received from Wendy's counsel stating that the guardian was only providing bank statements for the months of November and December of 2022. Kevin's argument at the time was that when Wendy's bank first petitioned to start guardianship proceedings, her Wells Fargo accounts had a lot of money. So from the time her Wells Fargo accounts were frozen and the time Kevin claims Wendy had no money left was just under a year. And according to Kevin, it doesn't make sense that the money disappeared within the year. Like I said, you may not be on board with Kevin trying to take money from Wendy, but I know you were also wondering what's happening with her money. And you know, this entire situation with Sabrina is sus because she has has a history of controversy herself, including an ongoing lawsuit in which she is accused of robbing a separate client of $30 million. Has she, like, milked Wendy dry too? At this point, the guardianship under Sabrina Morrissey, active since 2022, has been the subject of enough backlash and debate on the internet. And basically what Regina and everyone else is asking is, where is Wendy? And why is no one answering that question? Why can't they produce Wendy or an actual statement from Wendy, or even just a picture Picture of Wendy. Where is Wendy Williams? Honestly, it is beginning to look like they have her kidnapped somewhere. But let me know what you think about the situation in the comments section below.